Hi, my name is Victor and you're watching Revit Experiments. We got an update from Autodesk. Apparently there is a new feature in Revit, a new assistant using artificial intelligence and machine learning. You access it by clicking and holding on the little Revit logo in the top left corner of Revit. Hi, I'm Revit's smart assistant. How can I help you? Hi Revit, I have a fairly simple task here actually. It's about that uh, casting place concrete stair and how it attaches uh, to the floor here. That little detail. Uh, see, uh, this is not how it should look like. and. There must be a simple solution like something like, for example, if we select uh, the bottom uh, run here, we can just uh, go and say extend uh, below zero. Uh, give it a negative uh, value actually. And it kind of looks decent, if not perfect, just decent. But we can't really do anything about this here. Uh, how? Okay. C could you please help me with that? Well, you can just draw a field region on top of it. In the section view, just like this. You will have to uh, make some of the lines in that field region invisible. And you would also need to select the same type of hatch in your field region. But this is how you do it. And voila! It is soft. Yeah, but uh, Revit, I don't think that's a good beam. Uh, I would need to change that field region uh, uh, for any other view as well, and uh, every time the stair changes, so uh, uh, I, I don't really think that's a good solution. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. Let me show you a newer and better solution. You can use a stair landing. Just draw a stair landing here like this, with uh, the same width as uh, the steps in the star. Then uh, we would need to edit the rain path, so we don't get that annoying railing here. And we would need to adjust the thickness of uh, the landing so it matches the thickness of the floor. And then we would also need to add the floor around the landing. And then in the section we would need to make this nice and visible with the line work because we still cannot really join all landings to the floors. But this is it. Job's done. Beautiful, in it. How does that look in plan, though? Ah, you're a tough customer. Well, in plan, you can also use the line work tool. Just make those lines invisible. Click and easy. Click, 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 click. And it's done. Oh, Revit. I like you, but uh, I don't think these workarounds are satisfactory. And this sure is a common problem and it has been around for uh, over 10 years, at least. And I'm pretty sure people have asked for a solution for this. Let me suggest a workaround. We create the stairs and the landing, we isolate it and we export it as an SAP file. Then we open an in-place component, we import the SAT file, we assign it to the concrete material that you would like to use. Now we can join it to the floor and we can use the Revit stair to create the finish and railing. And it's done! Simple and easy. Oh my god, Trevor. Yeah, I can see that it could 
technically work probably and we could also just remodel the stair as a generic component but uh, come on this could not be uh, the solution uh, yeah, it's a complex uh, problem you know joining the stairs to the slab is a complex problem for software designed for buildings other programs like uh, ArchiCAD handle this flawlessly. How dare you talk to me about your other programs, you sensitive bastard? Go to your other programs and 